CEO here and I'm finally made it to the Nintendo World in New York City. Um, I'm in the Animal Crossing section right now. So I'll show you what's here and then I'll show you what I'm getting. All right, there's literally just one wall of stuff. So this is the only stuff they have in here. I wish there was more, but this is what we got. At least we have a corner. They have these Nook plushies. I've seen these before. They're kind of heavy, actually. I was surprised. They have these shirts, Nook Ink, the leaf, and that one with the trees. They have these backpacks, like a mini backpack. I think it's kind of ugly, but they, they have it. <laughs> it's the same as the KK Slider backpack, which you've either seen already or you're about to see later in the video. You can put another switch in there. Oh, and this is where you put the adapter. You could, you could put anything in here, just the pockets. <laughs> It's a deluxe switch carrying backpack because they put a little label and they say so. They have these. I'm going to get one of these. Nook with the bell bag. Nook in his money capitalist element. Got some blather plushies down there. And then we have some displays of the Animal Crossing Build-A-Bears. Actually, I'm looking at this. I don't think they're... Oh, no, they are. These are the Build-A-Bears. But I don't think my Isabel has that bab patch on it but yeah here are they got nook summer outfit nook fall outfit isabel summer outfit and then some puzzles i i've only seen puzzles online but i guess i can get one here if i want the one the blue hair dude and the girl i thought maybe it was gonna be the same which is like flipped but no it's a completely different puzzle i guess th that's the image for this one and then this one is for this puzzle i don't think i'm gonna get a puzzle um, I don't really like the designs, but it's cute. Cute little Animal Crossing puzzle. And we got two more shirts. Oh, I, I messed that one up. I was mm, thinking about getting the mint one, but I don't think so. And the island time. They're, the shirts are cute. I need to get a close-up of these shirts. I, oh my god, I know that font. Wait a minute. This is the same font I use on some of my Twitch streams. <laughs> that is hilarious. I, I love this font. I think it's called Blenny. And I just used it because I liked it, but I guess it's it's officially an Animal Crossing font. I It's officially a font. I didn't even know that. I guess that worked out perfectly. And I just wanted to do another close-up of this mint green. Editing CEO here. And if you like this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And click the bell button to get notified when I post more Animal Crossing videos. Okay, back to the vlog. Sure, it doesn't really show up mint on the camera, but it's definitely mint green in person. The Animal Crossing New Horizons logo in pink. And then we got some of the little items in the villagers. Got the wind flower, new flower. Pretty cute, pretty cute. Oh yeah, and all the shirts have like a leaf on the back. The New Horizons leaf. I don't think I would wear them. And then these lamps. Oh my God. It has a little bell. It has a bell for like turning it on. Okay, that's cute. All right, continuing with the Animal Crossing merch. Got the Isabel Apple Pillow. Not my favorite, but honestly, I like the back more. The back is cuter. Maybe we should just get it for the back, honestly. Look how nice that is. Embroidered. It, it, it kind of looks like a red pear from the back, but I really like the back more of the front. Not bad. I, I wish it was a peach, not an apple. Oh, oh, it's falling. And they also have a nice little uh, KK Slider wall. It's, it's in the Kirby section but it's definitely Animal Crossing. Got some KK Slider pillows. Again, this one's even heavier than Blathers, but it's a cute, it's cute. They also have these pink KK Slider backpacks. Cute, cute. Oh, they have storage space for the switches and the adapter. Cute, and I even looked inside this, so I, I didn't know, but yeah. Okay, got the back open and so yeah, there's like a little like storage spot. I'm not sure where the adapter would go, but yeah, it's a cute little like mini size backpack. Carry all your switch accessories, all, all five of your switches. Ahem, not, not, not me, not me, but like maybe someone else. You carry all their five switches in here. We have a KK Slider shirt down here. Or sorry, it's DJ KK, not, not, D, not KK Slider. But we also got a plushie, look how cute. I never saw a DJ KK plushie, but I will be getting this. Look how cute he is. And last but not least are the KK Slider merch. Got this hoodie. Pretty basic, just KK Slider's face and a white hoodie. It's really soft though inside. It's really nice. Woo! Pretty basic, but very, very KK Slider vibes. Very simplistic. I just realized that that's, this is the, this is the banner art above the Animal Crossing section. 
I just realized this one is New Horizons. And this one's New Leaf, because I was like, I never saw that before. I've never seen this New Horizons art, but no, this is definitely a New Leaf. You can tell by those cliffs, that tent, that giant tree. Here are some more Animal Crossing plushies. The classic leaf, I already got the leaf, but there it is, the apple. Again, I don't know why they chose the mascot fruit as an apple. The peach is obviously superior. I don't understand. Why did Isabel just loves apples that much? We all have to suffer with an apple. I'm allergic to apples, so sad, pass, hard pass. We got Bunny. Again, I don't know why they default to Bunny. Who even likes Bunny? Why is she the unofficial Animal Crossing plushie mascot? They should have at least Bob. Bob is the first villager that they ever made. They should at least have Bob. Who wants Bunny? I don't, don't understand. And we got Deranged looking Nook. This ugly green sweater vest. Ew. And his sad face. And creepy looking. Got his pants on. Does he even wear pants in the game where he has the sweater press? I think that's a new leaf in Nook Holmes. I think he wears a sweater vest, but I don't think he wears pants. But I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna insert the footage here. Does he actually wear pants or not? And then down there are the DJ KKs. Again, I've never seen these before in my life. So I'm gonna get one um, and manifest the DJ KK comes back. Oh yeah, look at this. They're actually selling the bonk hammer in Animal Crossing Nintendo World. I guess they're getting the message that we want the bonk hammer back. Look, it's just sitting there. Just sitting there waiting to be bought. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Thank you. I was literally just standing here and the dude comes. He brings out Isabel plushies. I'm, I'm buying this one. But he literally came out and just puts them there. And he's like, yeah, they're very really popular. Which I guess makes sense since they were zero when we walked up. Oh, there's a nook. Oh, I think someone took the nook because there were two nooks before. Oh yeah, here they are. There's Animal Crossing, look at that, there's Animal Crossing! Ah! Surprised they even have that. <laughs> but it's cute, it's cute, it's cute. Right. Need to get closer to that. We got some more, we got some more Animal Crossing screens. They're definitely from New Horizons. Go cute, Wisp. Timmy and Tommy. Oh, oh, now it's Splatoon, okay. <laughs> I noticed something while I was editing this video that we do see DJ KK on those screens I showed you on the wall. And you can clearly tell that the graphics, the trees, the flowers behind him are from New Horizons. And there is no mention, nowhere to be seen, any instances of Happy Home Paradise. So they literally put DJ KK on a regular New Horizons Island. Now this may be a stretch, but I, I really think this means we will see DJ KK on your regular Animal Crossing New Horizons Island and not just in Happy Home Paradise. I'm still holding out hope that he will appear on Harv's Island. He'll have a little outside venue. I already made a video exposing Harv's Island and that there's actually a huge empty space of grass that you cannot see. You can only access with Switch mods. So I really believe that we'll see DJ KK there and we'll see Dr. Shrunk there and we'll get some sort of comic music rave music venue. And something else I notice on these Animal Crossing screens is Wisp. He's wearing his old hat. He only wears that genie hat in Animal Crossing New Leaf. But these are obviously New Horizons graphics. So either they really didn't care and they just put New Leaf Wisp in or they made a mistake. Because in New Horizons, he has a little crown. He doesn't wear this hat. So, so either Nintendo doesn't care about which Animal Crossing graphics they use. They can't even take the time and effort to ensure that the graphics they use and any NPCs that go on top of those graphics, that they're actually from the same Animal Crossing game. Using an NPC that is clearly not from New Horizons over a New Horizons background, it just upsets me how little they care. Or maybe this is a hint for something in the future. Bonking Nintendo for not giving us the bunk hammer! So that was my trip to Nintendo New York City in the Animal Crossing section. There was a lot more of the store that you didn't see in this vlog. But if I put it in this video, it's gonna be way too long and my hands are already hurting from all the video editing. Because if you didn't know, I have Carpal and Cubital Tunnel. So I'll make a dedicated vlog to the other parts of the Nintendo store that you didn't see, including a lot of Mario. I also didn't show everything I got at the store. So I will be making a dedicated haul video showing all the Animal Crossing goodies I got. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the bell button to get notified when I post those two videos. A huge thank you to all of my YouTube members for your continued support of me and my channel. Your memberships to my channel are what allowed me to go visit New York City and make this vlog for you. If you'd like to become a YouTube member, you can click the link above 
or in the description. And if you visit my channel's homepage, you can click the blue join button next to the subscribe button. My members also get access to my 24 seven treasure island. This is an entire island that is full of stuff that is dropped on the ground for you to come and take. I have lots of hard to find and rare items like crafting materials, every DIY set, all the new cooking recipes and DIYs from the 2.0 update, as well as all the Nook Mile items and Nook's Cranny new 2.0 items. Basically, if you ever had a hard time trying to get the items you want in Animal Crossing, then my island is a solution to your problem. Everyone who has visited the island has loved it, given rave reviews, and if you want to see it for yourself, consider becoming a member. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.